Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and welcome to another DevStream summary. I'll be summarizing the work from home DevStream and all the important parts of it, so let's get right into it. First up, Deadlock Protocol has been delayed to sometime in May 2020 instead of its initial April 2020 release date. Deadlock Protocol will ship with the new Warframe, Protea. Protea's first ability launches either a shrapnel grenade that staggers enemies and an AoE slash proc or protective grenades that can be grabbed to provide shield recharge and extend the duration of shield gate invulnerability. Protea's second ability is a turret that shoots nearby enemies. Each enemy hit increases subsequent damage dealt. Protea's third ability makes her place dispensers that create special health and energy orbs or ammo. Finally, her ultimate allows her to rewind back to a point in time. Right before the rewind, any abilities can be spammed and Protea can even die. When she rewinds, everything resets. Protea's passive causes every fourth ability cast to have a 100% power strength boost. Deadlock Protocol also includes a Corpus Ship Tileset Remaster. Within that tileset, Corpus enemies will drop Greed Tokens. These tokens can be used to interact with hand shrines that will open challenge rooms similar to Doom Slayer Gates. There's also a Jackal Remaster. Moving on to Nightwave Glassmaker. Season 3 of Nightwave will feature new rewards including new mods and armor sets as well as a new landing craft called Nightwave. There'll also be new challenges involving Kuva Liches and Railjack. Next, several changes are coming to Railjack including a doubled rate of intrinsic gains, doubled vacuum range and valence transfer for Railjack components. Finally, we saw Ash Deluxe. That's about it. If you have the time, be sure to watch the entire dev stream. The link will be in the description down below. With that, I hope this helped you out. This is the Faceless Beanie signing out.